Also happening tonight, a deadly officer-involved shooting here in Rainham. The district attorney says officers fired their weapons at a man who pointed a gun at them during a wellness check. The scene unfolding here at the King Philip Apartments. The night team's Leanna Falk is live in Rainham tonight with an update on the story. Leanna. Yeah, Patrice, Rainham police tell, say that officers conducted several wellness checks on a resident that lives at this apartment building, but say when that person opened the door for officers around noon today, those officers feared for their lives. Like all these cases, this is a tragedy. A wellness check turns deadly in Raynham. It's crazy how it's happened because I wouldn't expect it to happen here. A bird's eye view over King Philip Street Apartments where investigators say a 35 year old man was shot and killed by two Raynham police officers. Kyle Wilder heard the shots. And I woke up to uh, around seven or eight shots. They're all repetitive, like, like boom, 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 boom. Police say his name was Stephen McLean. Bristol County DA Thomas Quinn says he was arrested yesterday for allegedly intimidating a witness in a case involving his girlfriend. And he was on probation for a second drunk driving arrest. He was released yesterday, and since then, DA Quinn says officers conducted several well-being checks at his apartment based on concerns coming from his girlfriend. His girlfriend uh, informed the police that he went to work this morning and uh, was fired because he was intoxicated. Things escalated when officers arrived Tuesday afternoon when, according to police, McLean opened the door with a gun pointed directly at the responding officers. And pointed a gun at the officers, uh, a taser was deployed and two of the officers fired their weapons. McLean was rushed to the hospital where he later died. At the apartment, police spent several hours collecting evidence, including a firearm with a 21 round magazine. McLean's neighbors describe him as friendly but flawed. He's known for like, you know, speeding around and, you know, just, you know, being hectic. He sounds like a nice guy to me and, uh, he had some drinking problems. So today's events have them rattled with questions and concerns. Super sad. And uh, I wish I was there to help him. And it's unclear whether McLean fired any shots at those officers. That part of the investigation is ongoing. No officers were injured in this incident. Live in Rainham, Leanna Falk, NBC 10 News, 19.